Welcome everyone. This is the Citrus Twist April Workshop using the add-on kit with the Life Crafted album. And I'll be using some of the wonderful papers here. This is a spread that I created with the Life Crafted kit for April. Gorgeous. Now this pattern paper has two sides and then I'm going to use some of these wonderful die cuts from Crate Paper as well. But this paper has another great side to it. So I want to use this on the other side. On the right side, I punched my holes and I'm going to use that to, to cover the entire side. So it's about five by eight and a quarter. The one that I trimmed down is going to fit within the pocket. So I want to create a little bit of a asymmetrical look with this. I'm starting to get a little brave with my Life Crafted album in doing this. Now you can see I die cut two of the hearts that are available this month. And the reason why I did one in white cardstock and the other one from pattern paper from the kit. And I want to use the little pieces to fill in those little gaps. I'm creating a lot of texture with this spread. And as you can see, I'm going to cover both sides of this and I'm going to trim it later to separate them. Now I did resize the heart just a little bit to make it a tad bit smaller, but I still left it fairly big so it would cover most of the right side and then spill over onto the left. Now I am using, it's a fine tip applicator that I have some art glue in it. And this has been a game changer for me to apply little bitty die cuts like this. So it made it really, really easy to add those. Now I have some photos picked out. I want to use this photo of my daughter and this one die cut from the Life Crafted Kit. I think it would be perfect for this. A quick way, I always prep my stamps with an eraser. And I found a quick way to do that is before I even take them off of the sheet, I just run the eraser over that. So I wanted to just show you that little tip because I was like, hey, wait a minute. Why don't I just do all of them at one time? And it worked great. Now, if you are not familiar with stamping, if you ever ink up your stamp, these stamps are great quality, by the way. I've worked with red rubber stamps and a lot of great quality stamps, and these are wonderful. But if you ever find that you're not getting a good clean impression, especially if you're using a dye ink like I'm using, just run the eraser over it again and then you know, you'll get a nice crisp clean image. You can always tell if the ink is beaded up just a tad bit. If it beads up, I wipe it clean and I do the eraser and then I re-ink it and I'm good to go. I'm using two different colors of inks. I'm using a nice pretty blue color that will pull out the blue from the pictures and then I'm using this kind of an aqua color that goes along with the rest of the project. I'm creating a lot of texture here so I'm also adding some machine stitching and I'm going to fluff up some of these little pieces. Some of them got adhered down when I inserted those little die cut pieces but I'm going to go through as best I can and I'm just going to fluff up this heart and just give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm just going to trim straight through the paper and the threads. If there's any other little pieces that lift up from that heart, I can easily just use that liquid glue with that fine tip to secure it down. Now, as I start placing this, my holes are covered up that I had pre-punched on this pattern paper. I did find that I couldn't see where they were. I was trying to maybe get the heart to line up with the holes, but that was just useless to try to do that. So I ended up having to go over those holes and I had to re-punch them. And you can see in the picture that it actually went, the holes actually went through part of the love die cut but it, the page works fine and the album like that. So what I'm doing here is I was playing with some of the embellishments, the crepe paper embellishments from the add-on, and I decided on this one that said magical moment. I think it went perfectly. I wanted to start adding a little bit more things like that from the kit since I had so much stamping already on the heart. Now I'm just, I, I am a fiddler, I piddle around. I really just have, I have fun placing things and just seeing what direction I'm gonna go in. 
when I first started placing things and had my general idea, I really thought that I would use those die cuts and create a cluster, but I ended up going in a different direction because the next thing I want to do is add my journaling. I was thinking about just typing it there on the left, but I ended up using one of the stickers from the add-on kit. How I like to, to type, I use a typewriter. I'd stick the sticker to just regular paper or a post-it note. I run it through the typewriter and I type my journaling. And then instead of trying, I'm not worried about trying to get it off of there. I just trim it right through the paper that I adhered it to. And then I can just adhere that to my project. So I'm placing my photos and I realized that I had enough room. I'm liking the direction that this is going. So I printed another photo. So far I had, had just my daughter, but I decided to go ahead and include a picture of her with her friend since this is celebrating her friend's birthday. The add-on kit really, and the die cut, it really, all of it just really made this flow so quickly. I like to add even more dimension to my pages. I'm so thankful for this Life Crafted album that it will fit. So I did some foam adhering on the photo and on the love. Now you'll see in a little bit on the love, I removed one of the foam adhesives because then it would have been popped up over the photo. I wanted it to lie flush in that area where I am covering that photo and then be foam adhered above that. So now I'm just going to fiddle around a little bit more with some of these lovely embellishments and I'm, I'm starting to commit to things. So I added some stitching to that flower since it's a little clear it has color to it but it is clear i mach machine stitched that across it now a little bit of it did not machine machine stitch too well here so i had to do that again right there and i also did it to my journaling and if you can see for some reason as i stitched that tag in my journaling it got a little crooked there um, but you know, it's okay. You can, we, we can fix that kind of stuff with products like this especially. So the products that I'm adding here, the stickers are going to help with that. And I, I like that it gives it a nice layered look. Man, to create a little bit more of that layered look and to go with that whole flow of it being a tad bit crooked, I'm going to add a little bit of baby powder on the underside of that sticker that I placed vertically just so it'll lift up a little bit. I love that, that branch leaf sticker. It goes so perfectly with the love and of course the horse as well. So I'm gonna fiddle a little bit more here. I first started to add maybe some more florals, but I really, even though I, I consider this a, a basically a clean layout, but I didn't wanna create too much of clutter with it either. I got a lot of a lot of texture going on and I want to focus on the design. I like where that golden flower is placed. I placed that golden heart there. I've got a lot of of colors going throughout to create that triangle. The gold that's around the left side. So I, I just want to kind of keep it light. You'll see that I changed that in a little bit. I just placed it there just to kind of you know I let that percolate a little bit and see if I'm going to like it. I do want to add a little bit of the beautiful washi tapes that are in this kit. And I really like this one that has a map impression. I think it goes great with this. So I removed that flower, you can see, and then I moved that photo down. I'm liking that even better because it creates a nice diagonal line. So I've really finished this. The only thing that I'm adding here is I wanted to ground those photos a little bit, add a little bit in between those spaces. And you can see I shifted the hearts a little bit and added some more machine stitching to tie in with that whole look that I've created. So I hope this gives you an idea of how you can get very creative in your life crafted album. Mm -hmm.